euros, dollars, pounds, dinners, or just a bank card to simplify things. But how were currency transactions organized in ancient Greece? We bankers have our banks on tables, where we place a scale for weighing coins, an abacus for calculations, and several secure chests for keeping coins from different city-states. Almost every city has its own currency. Trading would have been impossible without currency exchanges, which gave birth to banking. There are currencies such as the Athenian drachma that are universally accepted because they are known for their good silver and consequently commonly used by traders. In addition to exchanges, my bank also safeguards the currency and other valuables of traveling merchants. Moreover, we bankers in some cases also act as public notaries for maritime loans. An integral part of my job is also to inspect the coins so as to establish that the metal they are made of is pure. We charge commission for our services, around 5%. We use a special stone to scratch the surface of coins in order to compare their color and establish the purity of the metal. When a coin looks suspicious, because of its color or lighter weight, I need to produce a test cut to establish that they are from pure silver. If not, I remove them from circulation.